Hello all, this is Crystal here and welcome back to Move with Chris. So today we are going to do some stretching and this is especially useful after legs day and um, after you have done a lot of legs exercises because you know right, so let's get started. Let's go to the mat. And first, let us sit on the mat. Bring both feet together. And interlace our fingers, just put it underneath. And we can now start flapping both legs here. Let's go for 10 counts. For 10, 9, 8, 7. So you're gonna relax the hip a little bit. Relax the lower body. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Alright. Slowly release. Now coming into cat cow position. Bring both palms down. And open your fingers widely, press it down to the mat. And your knees is about your hip width apart. Now when you inhale, bring your belly button down and to roll your shoulders back, push your chest up, look upward. Exhale, look into your belly button, round your back. Three more. Inhale, look up, open up the chest. Exhale, round the back. Last two, inhale up. You can choose to close your eyes if you want. Exhale, look into your belly button. And last, inhale. And exhale, round your back. And slowly coming back into neutral spine. Now, slowly tuck the back leg and inhale, push your bum bum up, coming into downward facing dog. Now, slowly step the heels down and we can walk our dog here. Step left heel down, right heel down alternately. For three, for two, and for one. Now slowly see if you can bring both heels down to the mat. Inhale, exhale, bring your hip up, press your chest closer to your knees and stay there. For three, for two, and for one. Now slowly bring your right leg up high, three leg downward up. Exhale, slowly bring it in between your palm. Just step in here. Bring your left knee down, flat the back toes. So, um, one tip here. Remember your knee don't go over your toes here. Yeah? So it's about 90 degree here. And slowly inhale. If you can bring both palms up and bring your hip forward, look forward. Stay there. Slowly see if you can bring your left hip down a little bit more closer to the mat. If that is your max, just stay there for five, four. Feel that you know it's stretching here. Three, two. And one. Now slowly bring both palms down, push your hip back, straighten the front leg and bring your toes point back to yourself. Straighten the front leg, okay? Now you can stand up here or you can tuck your toes to balance yourself first if you can, flat the toes. Now inhale, exhale, slowly bring the body forward. Remember, don't sit back, bum bum still up high. And slowly bring your chest closer to your knee. Inhale, exhale, see if you can bring it down a little bit more. And inhale, exhale, see if you can bring it a little bit more. Feel your right hamstring here stretching. So when that's your max, just stay there. We're going to stay for five counts, ready? For five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale slowly. Bring your leg back again. So bring the palms down. Tuck the back toes. We're going to bring our left knee up. Stay here. Five. Four. If you can, you can bring both your um, hands off. Three. 
two, one. And slowly bring both palms down. Send the right leg back, coming into high plank. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. And push the hip up high again, coming back into downward facing dog. So you can walk your dog here, swing left and right, left and right. Now when you're ready, inhale, send the right leg up high again. Exhale, bring it parallel to the mat, coming into half pigeon pose. You can bring your shin is parallel to the mat or you can bring it closer, coming into half pigeon. Same thing, try to press your left hip down, okay? So when you are stable here, so you can feel your hip is a little bit sore here. That's correct. <laughs> so inhale, bring it up. Exhale, fold forward. Alright. Stay there. For five, four, three, two, one. And just bring your head up. Now walk those hands to the right side. And see if you can fold forward again. Stay there for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale up to the left. Stay there for five, four, three, two, one. Coming back to the center and coming back up again. So when you're ready, bring both palms down. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, send your right leg back into high plank first stay there for five four three two one and send the hip back into downward facing dog inhale exhale press the chest into the thigh or into the knees stay there for five four three two and one now next right leg up inhale exhale bring it in between your palms and slowly lower down the right knee flat the right toes check check your knee shouldn't go over toes yeah when you are stable slowly bring left palm up right palm up so square your hip we tend to open it up to the side because this is easier all right so just turn it to the front so make sure that you press your right hip down, square your hip, and stay there. For five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now bring both palms down. Inhale, bring the hip back, straighten the front leg, and coming into our left heel, left toes pointing back to ourselves. If you try to stable yourself, bring yourself up first, right? Okay, so when you're stable here, slowly inhale, exhale, bring your chest closer to the knees. Inhale, chest closer to the knees. So remember, this don't sit down here, yeah? still keeping it here. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. One more. Inhale, exhale, fold further. Alright, if that is your max already, just stay there. We're going to stay for 5 counts. Ready, stay there. For 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So they bring yourself back up and bend the front knee again. When you're ready, tuck your back toes, leave the right knee up. Okay, so you're going to stay for 5 counts as well if you can. Bring both hands up. If not, just stay there. We'll do. Stay there for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring both palms down again. Send the left leg back, coming into high plank. Stay here for five. Engage the core. Squeeze it. Four, three, two, and one. Send the hip back, coming into downward facing dog. Just swing left and right, left and right, very good. Next, send your right left leg up high again. Exhale, bring it in front, parallel to the mat and bring the right knee down. Flat the toes coming into left half pigeon. 
so right right hip turn it down to the mat and when that's your max inhale both hands up exhale slowly walk forward and lay down stay there for five four three two and one coming up again use the hand to walk to the right side inhale exhale down stay there for five four three two one coming back to the center to the right and stay there for five four three two and one very nice coming back to the center push yourself back up tuck the back toes lift the back knee send the left leg back stay here for five squeeze the tummy squeeze the bum bum squeeze the leg and three two and one coming back into downward facing dog just stay here for three breath inhale exhale send the hip higher pointing to the ceiling inhale exhale one last one inhale exhale next slowly walk the leg to the hands just walk 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 very good now next let us open widely our leg bring both hands to the side inhale exhale slowly fold forward white leg fold so we can feel that both inner thigh here stretching can feel the stretch huh? inhale look up exhale see you can go further inhale exhale inhale exhale down until your max just stay there for five four three two and one slowly bring yourself back up again now this time let us interlock our fingers at the back roll the shoulders back feel like someone is pulling you from the back inhale exhale slowly come down and bring the hand forward see so you can go further all right just stay there if that is your max and we're just going to stay for five four three two and one slowly coming up slow and steady coming up again now next we are just gonna heels toes heels and slowly coming into squat so this is a squat position you're just gonna bring both palms together use the elbow push the knees to the side so just turn left and right here very nice okay next bring your right palm down about a step away from your right foot open your left arm out look over to the left side stay here for three for two this is very good hip opening exercise yeah? and for one if you can just Squeeze your hand and we're just going to interlock at the back and this left palm go and find your right palm at the back and open it up stay there for three for two and for one slowly release now to the left bring your palm one step away from your left foot open it up stay here for three for two and for one so flip your left, left palm to the back, right palm, go and find your left palm and open it up. Look over to your right shoulder here, stay here for three, for two and for one. Slowly release. Now slowly sit back and this time we're going to bring your left foot, bring it to the center first. Open your right leg out. Next, we're just going to... Bring your left arm up, inhale, exhale, just see, lean to the right side and see if you can touch the toes. Your right hand can wrap around 5, 4, 3, 
two and one slowly coming back up now next we're gonna bring our body face to the right leg inhale up exhale fall forward all right so you are facing your foot here stay there for three two bring your belly closer to the thigh all right and two and one slowly coming back in next we're gonna bring our right leg in and switch leg to the left side so just open your left leg to the left side toes pointing in so flex your toes right hand up exhale see if you can touch your left toes so when that's your max already remember to open your chest look into the ceiling and stay there for five four three two one inhale slowly coming back up bring the body face the left foot inhale both arms up exhale fall forward all right belly coming close to your thigh stay there for five four three two and one slowly release ah, nice Next, we're gonna just lie down. Okay. Oh, how she fall? <laughs> Bring your right leg up, stack on top of your left leg, and right hand go into that loop and hug your left leg in. Just stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. And bring your right leg back again. This time, bring your left leg up. Step on top of your right leg. Left hand go into that loop and hug the right leg in. You can choose to flex your left toes here. And inhale, exhale. See if you can bring your right leg closer to your body. When that is your max, we're just going to stay there for 5, 4, 3, two and one slowly release now bring both legs up and use your both hands touch both feet here and inhale exhale bring the knees closer to your armpit and let's rock left and right left and right this is what we call a child pose left and right left and right and last let us just hug our knees rock left and right left and right and inhale slowly release and exhale bring both feet down now lean towards your right side and next inhale push our body up Coming into a sitting position, just cross our leg, just sit in any comfortable position. Next, inhale, bring both arms up, palms together, exhale, palms to the heart center, and put a smile on the face. And that's all for our stretching today. And I hope you like it. So um, this is a stretching exercise where you can do it um, on a daily basis. Every day, 每一天都可以做。So, 尤其是你做完呃、uh, 那些比较激烈的运动啊，或者是比较 high intensity 的话，我觉得这个是一个很好的放松肌肉的一些运动跟一些动作的，你可以做。So, yeah, I hope you guys will like it. Thank you so much for joining me today, and um, do subscribe this channel to show your support and like. If you enjoy today's video, and also comment down below if you have any um concern or you would like to work on any targeted part. See if I can design something to work together. So see you guys in the next video. Alright, see ya! Happy Chinese New Year! Bye bye.